Hey, how's it going? And welcome to one of two Creation Club videos that I really wasn't sure if I was going to do or not. But seeing as I have a bit of time on my hands, I'll at least do Dead Man's Dread and maybe I'll do Saints and Seducers later on. So as usual, we'll take a quick look at the quests and stuff this mod gives you before I give my opinion or probably more accurately a rant at the end. Okay, so Dead Man's Dread costs 750 credits or seven and a half dollars and upon installation you will automatically receive a quest called The Restless which takes you to the Winking Skeever in Solitude and on one of the tables inside you will find a book titled, oddly enough, The Restless and when you read it you'll be directed to the Solitude Dungeon. Now the easiest way to get in is to commit a crime yourself and get thrown in jail or try and persuade the guard outside, which is the option I'd probably recommend. Once inside, you'll find the skeleton of Kevin next to a note on the table that you need to read. And once you've read it, it will relieve, relieve, reveal a, a map to a Blackbone Island, which can be found beneath a loose brick within the cell wall. Now grab it and head for the coast and a shipwreck known as Orphan's Tear, where you will encounter a gang of Blackwater brigands led by Celeste and these guys are hostile to you um, and they're guarding the only boat to Blackbone Isle so you'll have to kill them and uh, by FYI don't forget to grab Celeste's sword um, it's called the Blackwater Blade and it's another artifact from Oblivion Anyway, once that's done, take the boat to the island and once there you'll probably be attacked by some undead. I was attacked by bone wolves, but I'm not really sure if that's just because I have that mod. Anyway, there's a couple of minor chests on the island, one's very easy to find and one's um, uh, around the ship, um, but there's nothing really else there, so just head into the cave. And once through, you'll find a grotto filled with undead and a ship named, named Dead Man's Dread, oddly enough. And just fight your way through the skeletons on the grotto and those on the ship until you reach the captain's quarters on the lower level. And make sure you read the captain's journal explaining the fate of the ship. Take Sirius's sabre, which is hanging above the desk, and loot the chest next to the captain's bed to get his clothes and boots. Now all three of these relics are needed uh, to, you need to take them to progress the quest. Okay, so when you try to leave the ship with the artifacts, you'll be attacked by ghost sailors, both inside and outside the ship. Now you have to beat them before you can make your way back to the boat and leave Blackbone Island. Oh, and one last thing, there's a hidden chest in the skull carved into the cave wall in the grotto. I think the only way to get it is with the whirlwind sprint shout, but to be honest there's nothing really exciting inside, but go get it if you want. Now once back in Skyrim, head to a city Hello. and the courier will give you a mysterious note from a restless soul uh, advising you to convert Dead Man's Dread into a player home, so effectively it automatically uh, becomes your player home if you want it. Okay, so that's uh, Dead Man's Dread, and what do I think of it? Well, we'll start with the play home, as that's maybe what will draw most people to this mod. Now, it does get cleaned up a bit once you've got the note from the courier, though the blue plasma from the ghost remains for some reason. Um, I'm not sure how long, if that's forever, for 13 game days, I'm not sure. Um, it has enchanting and alchemy tables, smithing stuff inside and out, uh, but no smelter, I noticed. Um, so, yeah, it has all the stuff, but... To be honest with you, it's a pretty horrible play home. It's dark, 
dingy. It's just big, rambling. Uh, um, it's just an unpleasant place to be. There's pretty much been no attempt to make this home worth the money being asked for this mod. So to be honest with you, I'm not even going to be bothered with a full tour. Uh, don't get me wrong, it does work as a home, but I'd seriously recommend you just go and download a free mod. This home really offers you uh, nothing. And there are um, uh, ship-based um, player home mods uh, for free on Nexus and uh, places like that. So check them out, they're far superior. Um, and just to make it even worse, you have to go through four loading screens to get into your home. Now how long that takes is dependent on your game, but it took me just shy of three minutes to get from Skyrim to my bedroom. You know, and for seven and a half dollars, I, I expect more to be honest with you. And the uh, thing about the quest, uh, which is about 30 to 40 minutes of go here, read this, be sent somewhere else to read something else, etc, etc. You know, it's it's not bad, but it's it's not good. And again, for seven and a half dollars, it it really isn't good enough. It's typical Creation Club fare, to be honest with you. Um, now, to, to be honest, this could be negated if all the other stuff with this mod was of a higher quality. But in this case, it certainly wasn't. So the the, the quest is fine. You get 30, 45 minutes maybe of uh, playtime. Nothing to write home about, but also, I, su I suppose, nothing to complain about. It's pretty near, so uh, it is what it is. Now, you do get a couple of swords, and the first of which being the Blackwater Blade, which you picked up at the Bandit's Camp. Now, it's actually not a bad sword. I think it's the equivalent to a glass sword, um, and with the enchantment, I guess it's something like a, a Grim Server kind of level uh, sword. Um, so, you know, it's definitely worth having, uh, especially at a low level. And you also get Sirius's uh, Sabre, which you pick up in the Captain's Cabin. And I can't find the exact stats for it, but I believe it's not far shy of a Dragon Bone Sword. And um, I believe it's enchantable as well, which is uh, a bit of a bonus. However, in my opinion, it doesn't really fit into Skyrim, aesthetically speaking. And, uh, though there, and there's some really horrible clipping when it's sheathed. But all in all, it actually is a very, very decent uh, sword. Again, especially if you're at a lower level. And you also get some new clothes. Uh, Sirius's clothes, the Boatswain clothes, Captain's clothes and Scrub clothes. And the last three all come uh, with three different colours. Um, all of which, um, though not bad, are pretty unremarkable non-armour items. And again, to be honest, just look a little bit out of place uh, in Skyrim, in my opinion. So, uh, to wrap it up, even though I hate to be too critical of mods, as I fully understand the amount of work that goes into creating them, in this case I have to be honest and say that uh, all in all, I think this would be a mediocre mod, even if it was free. But for seven and a half dollars, I have to say I could never recommend this mod at all in any way, shape or form. Uh, Creation Club just has to do better than this as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, these are just my thoughts and I hope you found them useful and I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. Love you.